Right, so question 23 is testing our coordinate geometry. So we got this diagram here. Um, a, B, C, D is a square. P and D are points on the Y axis. That means their X value is zero. And A is on the X axis, which means it's y, the Y coordinate will be zero. P, A, B, P, A, B is a straight line. And the equation of the line that passes through A and D is Y equals minus two X plus six find the length of PD. So we're asked to work out this length here. So from P to D, that's what we want to work out. And um, what can I fill in on the diagram? Um, y equals minus 2x plus 6 is the line that passes through A and D. So this line here is y equals minus 2x plus 6. Um, now, What's going to be really important in this question is knowing that y equals mx plus c and that m is the gradient or the slope of the line and c is the y intercept. So basically that's where the line crosses the y axis. So if you look at this equation here, y equals minus 2x plus 6. Um, what I know that at this point here, um, I know that the x value is 0, and I also know because of the equation that the y value must be 6, because the y-intercept is 6. Um, at this point here, I know that the x value is, um, well, we, we can work that out in a moment, but the y value is 0. Let's work out what the x value is. So it's y equals minus 2x plus 6. Now I know that the y value at this point is 0. So I can work out what the corresponding x value is. So let's add 2x to both sides. 2x equals 6, which means x equals 3. So this point here is the point 3, 0. OK, what about this line here? Do I know anything about this line? Well, if that's a right angle, then this must also be a right angle because PAB lie in a straight line, which means that this line, y equals minus 2x plus 6, must be perpendicular to this line because they form a right angle. And when two lines are perpendicular, that means the gradients are related in a certain way. So if you have uh, two lines, uh, L1 and L2, two different lines and suppose they're perpendicular that's the symbol for perpendicular so if l1 is perpendicular to l2 that means that the gradient of or m1 m1 for the gradient of the first line if we multiply that by the gradient of the second line we always get a value of minus one that's the relationship if the two lines are perpendicular now that seems quite complicated essentially what it means is uh, if this was a line l1 that has a gradient of minus 2. I need to multiply that by something to get a value of minus 1. And you might have been told uh, by our teacher that you, you flip it upside down and you change the sign, or it's the negative reciprocal. So it's the same as a half. Minus 2 times a half is minus 1. So the gradient of this line, PAB, is, uh, is a half. So we have, let's write it in green. This line here, PAB, will have some equation, y equals, and the gradient is a half, a half x plus some uh, intercept c. That's what we know. But I also know, I know when x is 3, y will be 0. When x is 3, y will be 0. So we can solve for c. So if I take this equation down here, so we got y equals a half x plus c. And we know when x is 3, y is 0 on that line. So y will be 0, and x will be 3, and that will give me c. So let's see if we can solve that. 0 equals um, 1.5 plus c, which means c equals minus 1.5 so now I know this guy 
um, I know that the x value there is 0 and the y value is minus 1.5 therefore I can work out the whole length of this because it goes from minus 1.5 all the way up to 6 which means that the, the length of PD the length of PD must be um, 1.5 plus 6 which is 7.5 so it goes all the way from minus 1.5 up to 6 which is 7.5